Let's go ahead and send things over to Chief Meteorologist Scott Padgett uh, joining us uh, with another look at the forecast. Kevin, I do have a question for you. Don't ask about uh, on my your team. total. Have, have oh, you don't ask off? about my team. Four hundred dollars yet. Do you, do you know? Well, aren't you supposed to put in the difference now? Uh, no, I'm on Team Doug, yo. So now we're now I'm on Team Doug too. Put your money what? where your mouth is. Yeah. We'll get there. <laughs> we were, we're definitely going to get there. Any little bit counts, as we talked yeah. about. And you know, Brooke, again, as we go into the next couple of days, I'll take any small cool down we can get. Unfortunately, it's the reverse. Right now, dead and sky cam showing that we have that mix of sun and clouds greeting you. Temperatures right now sitting in the mid 90s. We're at 97 in Dallas. East winds at 10, holding on, trying to cool you down. Uh, dew point at 64, though. Makes it feel much warmer than that. We're at 96 in Fort Worth to 94 right now at DFW. So into the evening hours, our temperatures are down to about 90 degrees by 8 by 10, 85 with the east winds near about 5 to 10. Clear skies holding on. Tomorrow, more of the same on the way and slowly creeping back up there. 77 degrees warms up to about 98. Sunny skies on the way with our winds out of the east to the east northeast near about 5 to 10. On the wide view, I'm tracking the tropics, and there are a couple of things. There's three things now to talk about. We might be seeing a Gabrielle developing here in the next 24 hours, well out over the East Atlantic, has a 90% chance of development into a tropical or named system as we go through the next 24 to 48 hours. Then we have Dorian that we're talking about, and Fernan as well. That's down near South Texas. So let's zoom in on Dorian first. Uh, actually, we're zooming back to North Texas. All right, we're going to go back from there, and we're going to go back over to Dorian. There we go. All right. Uh, we're zooming into Dorian, and you can still see that center of circulation spreading out just a bit more as the storm kind of spreads out. That's an indication of some weakening as well. Those outer bands continuing to rotate their way on shore. So even though that center of circulation is out over the open water, still seeing the effects already. And here are the new uh, hurricane watches or warnings are where they've been extended. And you can see most now of North Carolina, including the outer banks, under the hurricane watch, tropical storm watch in parts of Virginia. And and then those hurricane warnings continuing along the South Carolina coastline as well as the east coast of Florida. Winds are sustained at 110 miles per hour. That's a category two hurricane. And that center is moving to the northwest at six. So not much of a change there. We're seeing at the center about 125 miles east southeast of Cape Canaveral. So overnight tonight into tomorrow, really no change in strength. We'll remain a category two hurricane just east of the Space Coast. And then we'll continue to push its way off towards the northwest going into Wednesday afternoon as a category. Category two closer towards shore, but you notice that the cone of uncertainty does not include the east coast at all. That doesn't mean, though, the effects won't be felt. And then getting closer towards the shoreline. In South Carolina, going into Thursday afternoon, Category Two, and then possibly very close to maybe making landfall on the coast of North Carolina towards the end of the week as a Category Two or to Category One, and then continue to make its way out over the open water, then off to the northeast and weakening. So the big th thing is that we're dealing with these winds already. Those tropical storm force winds in the blue making their way on shore. The green are the hurricane winds, very close to the Space Coast, and then going into tomorrow, into tomorrow afternoon, possibly seeing those hurricane force winds very close to the coast of both Georgia and South Carolina. And those winds will continue to drive the water on shore. Here's the storm surge forecast. You can see that orange color there, possibly 10 to 12 foot storm surge in parts of the uh, Carolinas for us, both South and North Carolina going through the next couple of days. All right, now you can see this area of low pressure that then developed now into a tropical storm. This is Fernand. Yeah, I know I'm looking at it, it says Fernand, but it's Fernand, uh, Fernand for us. And that will continue to make its way to the west, possibly bringing rain towards Brownsville. It will push on shore in Mexico as a tropical storm going into Wednesday afternoon, and then by Thursday, raining itself out. Closer towards home, we would love to rain something out because we don't have it in the seven day forecast. And I had to do it. We're at 100 to 101 Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, I know. And then after that, we cool down to 97 on Monday and Tuesday. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, we should start mean tweeting so. you now, right? Like you had anything to do with that. <laughs>